So we we gonna let me tell you something about the word. Let the word come to hit you all right. The long, the more you keep running, when you hear the word to bring change, you will never change. You'll never change. When God brings a word to you, it's because He's getting ready to take you to be a champion. He's getting ready to shift you in a big way, a mega way, from where you are getting beat up upside down in your head. And get you to be victorious. Where you can look the devil in the face and say, you can't touch me, cat. Where you can have authority over the enemy. That is what God has given you. He has given you authority. You are chosen people. A priceless and a valuable set of people. A chosen generation. And so here it is. God wants you to walk in victory, not defeat. Let me go to the Bible. The children can use the rest of it. He wants you to be victorious. We walk around and we say that we're Christians, but when people look at us and, and, and they say, Mom, look, I'm a little Christian. Let me tell you something. When I was selling dope, bag full of money, forty, fifty thousand dollars in a pouch. The woman with all the envelope talking about give up. Um, you can give me a little something for, for a collection in church. I look at her like, these all broke Christians. Why should I give up dealing drugs and walking around with forty or fifty thousand dollars and brand buying two, three cars, got house, house, whatever I want, money, jewelry, and go walking around with an envelope begging for? Why should I be a Christian? You tell me who won't be a broke Christian begging all the time and, and defeated. No, I will not follow you. I will not. I will not follow that religion. So it is that if God has called you to be a chosen people, a priceless and a valuable person, that the world will look at envy you and want to be in the kingdom of God. Yes. And you are living a defeated life. Yes. So you are a stumbling block. That's what you are. To those that need to be in the kingdom. So what he's telling us this morning, saints, I'm not talking, if you and this woman, you have never given your life to Jesus Christ, I'm not talking to you. You just sit back and make sure that when you do give your life to Christ, you would not be like this. So what God is doing you a prep, giving you a prep to tell you what not to do when you come into the kingdom. But he does want you in the kingdom. But I'm talking to us believers us who proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and who ought to be walking in right standing with God. Get rid of evil, all deceit, and all the envy and slander, and yearn like newborn babes. See that baby crying for milk, want something to drink? See how she's sucking on that, that pacifier? It's comforting her. She's not crying and hollering in church, and we might not know what she was going through her little mind now, but she's at peace. She's sucking on that comfort. He says, like newborn infants for pure spiritual milk, which means that you ought to hunger and thirst for righteousness. You ought to want to suck up everything that is God. Shut off all those evil thoughts and evil gossiping and slandering. And let me tell you what slander is. I've experienced slander. They Slander is this Nyoko. If I know you just finished teething cow and milk, now ain't nobody know that. But everybody said, Well, Nyoko, that's my friend. Child, girl, who can't get between me and her? She's a wonderful person. Here, don't mind people. They say, Child, let me do something. You ain't know her. She teethed a cow and milk yesterday. Then they're going to tell everybody you teethed the cow and milk. You know why? They try to discredit you. They, they want, everybody, somebody, I mean, somebody one time or another stolen something. So they ain't like, that's a big deal. But what they do is they take in the truth to destroy you. Or they'll do, they'll take a line, they said, now, only Naoko was sitting over there, so it must be her who moved the milk. Mine it ain't you, you know. But they want to discredit you so bad. They will lie on you. That's, that's what you call slander. Taking the truth or a lie to hurt someone. You mean Christians do this? Yes, he's talking to us. Stop your evil. Stop your gossiping. Stop your slander. 
Your lies. Stop it. You might see, you might know somebody made a mistake. But now every time you see them in that place or around that person, you think they're doing the same mistake. Come on. People change. 